There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Okay, Daniel, you have some answer to do. I don't care about context. Okay, I'm gonna put a little pause here. Who's saying it? I don't, I don't see the sign everywhere. Let me check something. Ah, they have to move this up here, really? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little pause here and see you soon. Shut up. Okay, let's see what The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean back when we were underground? Oh, well, hey, that's the kind of place we can actually rebuild if we do the quest. It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors. Veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. Hmm. So maybe... These thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that! Oh yeah! Ushi wanted us to tell you! It's very important. Hmm? Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons. So people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So he hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Would she say that? And that was translated by Ito. I kinda... It's kinda hard for me to swallow this. I mean, okay, sweet, but think of the ramification of this. This comes from Ito's mouth that translates for Ushi. I cannot think now of a joke that Ushi is speaking this manner, like, uh, I don't know how to say it, very suave voice or something like that, very, I don't know, very, I hesitate to find the word, using these fancy words or something like that, and for it I'll just blah, 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 until he gets uh, what he wants to say. Yep, like people with visions, they have more resistance against your power, right? And, and, well, anyway, there's loads of people out there who really care about you. <sighs> Suddenly you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think I was the only one who didn't think that way. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. The others are Bonanus, or General Chizapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> Why do people have like three or four names? 
is really become annoying to keep up. Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks, and both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, it took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Paimon still thinks you were amazing. Yenfei and Yelon are correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. Wow, you actually say that out loud. In the end, I still had to burden another. But that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhang Li, uh, Rex Lapis, for such a long time. And you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. It's good that one more person will remember him. Huh? Wait, the uh, animated? Nogius, where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyong, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. <laughs> Nonsense, Brother Yaksha. <sighs> We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal... Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> this you is know, kinda sad. Today I saw my family down here. Clear as day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now too? Hmm. Boyong. Do you want to go home? <sighs> I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously... Of course, I want to go home. I must have... family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters? Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus... Is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <laughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look! There's... Someone over there! Who are they? There. They're my. My. I remember now. I know you. 
<laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, boy. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I. I am Bosatius, and my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. Wow, that can give me chills. So much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Well, give me a moment. Wow. This is really like moments that, again, how can I not hate this game? Like, the quality sometimes can really go off the roof, and the story too. Like, we know these characters kinda, but look how much impact they can do. No pun intended. Wow. Although, as senior teams as I am, on. I don't find the work right. I feel they're gonna do a post on Kai, or maybe better say a post game scene on the sea where you can play as them, something like that. A game in a game, if you play Hong Kai. But again, this quality that can just burst out of the a gacha game. I really have to give them credit for that at least. Even after delay because of the situation of the real life, they're still trying to make this game as great as they can. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life? The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. So... It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanis, Minogius, and Indarius all perished. And only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us. And Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanis said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers. Heroes. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on, Heroes will always look out for each other. Oh, it's over? Huh? Oh. Although, how do I go there? Consider that we...
You're not. Can you already move it there? You want Let me just fuck with Salita. Well, this was something. Hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, I guess next time it's gonna be Yaren story. I guess that's gonna count as a UA story, but I didn't play it Liyue. I mean, I didn't recall Liyue, but you get to what I try to say. I must say, yeah, sometimes this game can have his lows and downs, but when they actually work in the quality of the animation, they really know what to do. So, mm, it's not a character that I really like, but I can actually get his story. Uh, the Ito is violent, annoying, and just a comic relief. Cookie? As much as I can like her, she kinda has no impact to the story, at least for a few moments that any character could do that. But again, not editing here perfect. So, I guess next toy again is go, gonna be an interlude or what is called for the Sumail, who knows. But, I'm not gonna dwell too much. Hope you enjoy this. See you in the next episode. Hello. Huh. Well. Okay. Um kind of explanation. I just doing my day and I just happened to pass this way to clear my dailies. I'm playing this is another one of those quests that is not voice. Wait, this is as access possibly from the Arkham quest? Notice how they're not even trying to move the mouse earlier to emanate.
Okay, I have to cut all that part. Again, don't have nothing with the voice, I, but this is YouTube, so of course people are gonna be lazy to read. But at least this moment to be at least on a server because this is kind of a little epilogue for this chapter. Okay, she pretending. Why was is Johnny actually lying to us in front of he has his reason? What did I just got? Well, this was kind of odd. Well, this was an odd epilogue. I wonder what is not... Why not a dog? This looks a win. Okay, I guess this was for the chasm. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna do Yellen Story. You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. Oh, I have uh, two of them. Wait, is Mona and Bennett actually knight? No, Bennett is a venture and Mona is Mona. I better shut up. See ya.